I can't even imagine how crazy and wild Christmas and New Year's is gonna be, right? Oh my gosh! How cute! It's pink. I am a pink girl through and through. This is everything I picked up during EV week. Huge deal in the GBF community. People would watch you for sparks. You have to say hi to the people. They're really nice. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I make Pokemon sleep related videos and we have finished EV week. So I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that event. Definitely one of my favorite events that came out in the game so far. So if this one was fun, I can't even imagine how crazy and wild Christmas and New Year's is going to be, right? So I had really, really good sleep yesterday. I knocked out like a baby and oh, it is also the good sleep day event. So it kind of overlapped with the EV one. I finished at master six, I believe last night. So hopefully we see something good today. But if that, if not, it's all right. I'm still having a little of um, trouble talking because I am feeling the holes in my wisdom teeth and the stitches, so it kind of feels funny. So we got a Marowak, Clefable, so new sleep styles to discover. And now my little issue is where do I want to go for this week? Because initially I was like, you know what, I think I'm ready to take Topalo. But then with all the new Eevees I got, I want to raise them. So maybe I'll stay in green grass. Or should I go to Cyan Beach? Let me quickly look up what the favorite berries are. Because... I do not remember. I just remember it was an Oron berry, Pecha berry, and a Palm tree berry. Pecha berry. So if I have my... Hmm. I don't know. Should I do it? Or should I just play it safe and stay at green grass? So peaceful sleep. Oh, that is gigantic. And it's the first one we met. So I also uh, lit up an Eevee incense yesterday, not Eevee, sorry, a friendship incense. And let's hope that we are able to pick up both Eevees. Why am I going back and forth like that? Honestly, I have no idea. In my mind, it sounded like a good idea. <laughs> but, yeah. Maybe I just did all that for nothing. Who knows? So we caught that one. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to catch this one as well. Though, I have a feeling it's probably going to get too full. And luckily, all the sleep points that I hoarded um, paid off because I was able to buy all the Poke Biscuits and it is full. I was able to buy all the Poke Biscuits in the shop. So that really allowed me to have about like maybe 34 Poke Biscuits by the time I came. And then I remember midway through the event, the game sent us five Poke Biscuits in the gift box, which was 
really nice. And let me share a Eevee so that you guys get all the candies for the new Eevees that you got. And then later on, let me guys, um, let me show you guys a little haul of my Eevees this week. And I got a good amount of dream shards as well, which I am very happy about. So we got a docile nature, and it's a double cacao. Uh... So this is honestly pretty good. It's not terrible. Sleep bonus EXP on the first slot though. But we have back-to-back -back skill trigger on the 50th slot and the 75th slot, which will take a while for me to get there, to be honest. And then ingredient finder, S and M. I can probably swap out my Dudu Vaporeon for this one, or maybe Vaporeon stats are similar to this. I think my Vaporeon has ingredient finder up though. I'll have to double check. Oh, but I love that it's double double cacao all right let me stall some time because i still don't know where i want to go do i want to stay in green grass or do i want to go to cyan beach i think i'm gonna stay in green grass and i've been watching videos yesterday to kind of prepare my expectations for the tundra because I would like to explore that area once, you know, we're really in the thick of winter and get into the spirit of it. Oh, so I actually finished at Master 7. And I got an F grade. Oh, right. I did my wisdom tooth and I didn't get the best sleep either yesterday. Actually, I didn't sleep at all. I just took like naps. So I have yet to discover this area, which is why its area bonus is zero. Topalos, I finished at grade 5. My voice is getting a little <clears throat> stuck. And then Cyan Beach. Uh, do I want to? No, I don't. I'm going to stick here. I will stay here. Let's do it. And let's hope, well, let's hope for a dessert week or a salad week. It's a curry week. <laughs> oh God, and there's like, okay, I could swap in my Butterfree. I saw this video and man, the Japanese, they do it different. This guy had like, um, I believe it was either a Wigglytuff or a Clefable. And then he had like four different Butterfreeze. So we finished our stamp card for that. And now we commence Drowsy Power 4 times 4 because it is Monday and our Snorlax is weak on Mondays. Little tip I got from a viewer when I went that when I was, sorry, I'm getting frustrated with my way of speech, but when I was asking why is it that it is 4 on a Monday? So I'm going to swap out my um, Bulbasaur for a uh, Butterfree. And don't forget that you must click up your, pick up all of your stuff and see if you trigger any skills before you swap them out. Or else once you get back into the box, you won't be able to do that. So there you go. And I wonder what sort of ingredients I have for curry. It's definitely been a long time since I've whipped up a curry. Yeah, and we, oh my god, this is not looking good. I think I'm gonna really have to decide which EVs I want to keep 
I could probably rely on uh, but if I really want to make my Snorlax strong okay so in a perfect world this is what my team would look like for curry week Yeah, so it would be this. So I got David did um Ditto Dave on the leaks. Aqua is there for milk and soothing cacao, which I know soothing cacao you don't need for curry weeks. However, I do like that aqua triggers the skill pretty frequently and I believe um, it picks up like 14 or 16 random ingredients. Oop, I did not mean to press that. And then Weeping Bell for the tomatoes, of course. My Diopside is for the fiery herbs. And then Lavatar Larry for my ginger. So let's swap this out. And compare it to the ingredient list that we have. Oh, um, it didn't swap out. Okay, whatever. I'll do that later. But with those ingredients, I am able to have a good lineup of ingredients for, for example, solar curry, spicy leek curry, even... Actually, yeah. So that means I would be alternating between these two, which I normally do on a curry week. And then because of my Vaporeon, who would trigger the skill, I would collect additional ingredients which sometimes allows me to fall on my drought katsu curry and my bulk up bean curry so you know what i probably could have done this at cyan beach also and just raise up that area but here we are right here we are so let's also i wish we could drag the teams around and I also wish that this was more circular so that if I drag this way, it goes to the very end so I don't have to flick all the way like that. But anyways, let's go use this team. Actually, I could switch out my Vaporeon for an Eevee that I do want to raise because they will both trigger the... skill anyways and Lyria I decided to name him Lyria has skill level up on this slot which kind of gives me well it does it does give me five more random ingredients because at level one it's just six so that is what I'll do and I'll keep Ditto Dave in the lead And I guess before I feed my Snorlax breakfast, let's go through the community research just to see if I'm able to pick up any ingredient tickets. So yes, I was able to pick up two more. And let's hope that we get something good. Okay, that's good. Warming bear, um, warming ginger and bean sausage. Oil, I do need that as well, but I do not think that is enough for me to open any current recipes that I have, so... Oh, actually, I can. I could make a mild honey curry now, I think, was the one that opened up? Or was it... A, no, it was a bean curry that opened up. So, I think I will go ahead with the mild honey curry. And let's kind of purge this. Now you need five more, so let's put some honey. Actually, an apple for health. So I'm able to eat solids today, which I'm very happy about. And I've really been craving fruit. 
so I have apple and Asian pears, so I'll be able to slowly enjoy that later today. Get in some more natural fibers in me. Being on a liquid diet, man, that made me so hungry. Like, physically, my stomach would be fuller because of all of the liquid contents, right? But I was ravenous. Yesterday, I couldn't sleep because I was hungry and I was looking at food videos and I don't know why I tortured myself <laughs> in my mind. I'm like, if I look at this, it'll feed the sensation of eating. So, yeah, it will probably be a pretty slow week for me on my curry week, but I'll be able to uh, level up a lot of recipes. And I was trying to look at the Pokemon that I have to see whether or not I can unlock the potatoes since I have that left. I want to unlock potatoes and entails. But the only available potato that I have to unlock next is on one of my Riolus at level 60. So I was like, okay, if not Riolu with the potato, then maybe a slow poke tail. But the only Pokemon I have that will give me a slow poke tail is Ditto Dave at level 60. My slow poke doesn't even have any slow poke slots on their ingredients. So that kind of sucks. But enough with sucking, let's look at what everyone got. So there's rock formed sleep. And is that a shiny Igglypuff? Igglybuff? The color looks a little more dark, like a cotton candy, you know? So I think it might be. If it is, congratulations. But yeah, if there are some things that I wish Pokemon Sleep did, it would be probably just quality of life updates when it comes to, you know, just the, the, just the small tiny things like on your friend uh, research community here. Like if it's a shiny, maybe a different border or a little star because sometimes the shinies are hard to point out. And definitely a bigger friends list because I want to add more of you guys. rock form to sleep again. I've been seeing quite the bunch of dittos lately. The atop belly sleep pseudo wudo. Oops, I mean toxicroak. My eyes were looking at something else. Oh, but then there is an atop sleep pseudo wudo. Victory bell. Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan. Yep, I pronounced that right. A Sylveon, which I never met on my yard. <gasps> oh my god! He got it! He got his shiny Eevee! I'm so happy for him. Congratulations. I know him in particular, he was waiting for it. Oh my god, look at that. He's like taking up the entire screen. That's funny. <clears throat> Another one. Oh, the double atop belly sleep Arbok. <laughs> That's funny. And they're both at Topalo. And let's see what John got. The tail swinging Leafeon. And then, oh, Cleffa is just so cute. For seeing sleep espion. We got this Eevee lying down sleep Jolteon. Haunter. Vaporeon, another ditto. Crescent sleep Umbreon, so pretty. And damn, look at that. Wait, where is it? That shiny Absol. Sitting sleep. Oh, 
Nink and Kami found a tail swirling sleep leafy on. Nice. Energetic sleep Eevee, another leafy on. And Cookie also found a shiny Eevee. Congratulations to you on the final. Oh my gosh! How cute! It's a Charmander sleep ditto and it's missing its ears. Wait, does Charmander have ears? No, it doesn't, right? But how precious is that little face? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I was hoping to see the um, Ditto plushies at the Pokemon Center when I was in Japan, but they didn't have it at those at when I was there. So kind of sucked, but they're so freaking cute. How funny. This is the first Charmander sleep Ditto that I've seen actually. Sylveon and... I soon will have my beautiful blue Sylveon. So you know, you, you know how preferences changes. Just like, oh wow, that is a beautiful Mareep. That is a beautiful shiny Mareep. Congratulations to Evil Stevo. Oh my gosh. And then once you evolve it, oh, that will look so majestic. But yeah, speaking about preferences, when I was really young, my favorite color was blue. And then it became like a, a navy blue, royal blue. And then I had a period two years ago where it was like sage green because that, that color just seemed really calming to me. And now I'm loving pink. I am a pink girl through and through, as you can see. Pink, pink. And I didn't realize how much I liked pink until I was packing all my stuff before moving here. And I was like, Wow, a lot of the decor in my room is pink. <laughs> and even when it comes to fragrances, when I was young, I wore more um, soft, dainty, floral, powdery fragrances. So like, think Chloe. Um, there was another one too. Oh, the Victor Flower Bomb, although that is like a sweet floral. Very sweet. And now that I'm older, I have really been loving the gourmand scents, the vanillas, the chocolates, the marshmallows. I love it. I love smelling sweet. I love smelling like a dessert. And I notice, so there's a lot of people that say that men in particular prefer sweet scents on women. And I'm not saying that you should wear scents to, to garner attraction from men. You should do it for you. But because I have a partner, I do like it when I wear a scent that he likes and he's like, mm, you smell so good. And I've noticed that he gives me that compliment the most when I'm wearing a sweet scent. Kind of funny, huh? So that was that. Now, let me show you guys my mini haul of what I picked up during Eevee week. So we are gonna start off with an overview of this. This is everything I picked up during EV week. Now, was I a little hasty in deleting some? Yes, I was. I should have kept those and truly decided later, but what can you do, right? So first off is this little bad boy. And I wrote Glaceon question mark because I don't know if I want to make this a Glaceon. I won't go through the too much of going through all the skills and everything i'll just give you guys a little shot here and if you want you could pause and take a look at it yourself critique it yourself come up with your own thoughts and opinions but for now we're just going to go through a mini haul so i got this one and then another one glaceon question mark all milk though kind of sucks but there is berry finding in the first slot and then not the most ideal nature. And then I have this Eevee right here. And then this one, the double cacao. And I was like, Jolteon? Question mark Because it is a lonely nature, but out of all the speed natures, probably not the one that you would want. So it kind of sucks it has energy recovery down, but 
what can you do, right? That's why we have helper Pokemon, buffing Pokemon. And then I got my sassy Eevee here, which initially was going to be my Sylveon before I found my shiny Eevee the other day. And it only has one skill trigger skill at the very end, at level 100, which kind of sucks. Not the most ideal. And then I have my first shiny Eevee that I caught during Eevee week. This beautiful baby boy over here with the double cacaos, which made me so happy. And it is a quiet nature, so... I was thinking long and hard and I was like, mm, should I make this my new Vaporeon? But then the one I found today has two skill trigger skills. So I'm definitely just gonna hold on to that. And then I have my Rash Eevee here. Oh, actually, let me show you. The cacao and then the bean. And then we got Eel, which is going to be my Espeon. So here he is. Berry finding on the 25th skill trigger at the very end. It is a careful nature. You got helping speed at the first slot. And I believe my ditto also has a helping speed as so I'm gonna have to give myself a refresher and check up later if that stacks or not. But then I have inventory up L and inventory up S which probably actually that's not a bad idea because it will gather a lot of ingredients and I do check a lot. Well, if I check a lot throughout the day, then I'm never going to run out of space, right? So here's me trying to justify <laughs> having two inventory up as skills taking up a slot. But you know what? We take what we can have. We got Berry Finding S over there. So this is Eo. And then we got Orion, who is going to be our Umbreon. And milk at 30, sausage at 60. It is an impish nature, helping bonus at skill level 10, and then berry finding at 50. So that will be great once we go to Tundra with the wiki berries because the other Pokemon that gives wiki berries right now I think is like Houndour. And between Houndour and Umbreon, I think it is clear that Umbreon is the better choice. And then we got skill level skill level s here in skill trigger which will help with sustaining itself for recovering more energy so that it can quickly find me even more wiki berries once that time comes so i think that now i would definitely say i'm still very early game but i'm getting to the point where i'm, I'm trying to think more long term you know and People have said that long term you do want to invest more in berries because as your Pokemon scales and levels, the strength that they get, that they give through the berries is higher as well, which is an even better bonus if that is Snorlax's favorite food. And I think you get to a point in probably late mid game and late game where you're not going to have an issue with finding ingredients. Actually, your issue I hear is that you have too much ingredients and you have to keep emptying your bag. So at that point, it does make sense to rely less on the ingredient magnet Pokemon and more on what kind of Pokemon are going to give you a ton of berries. So with that all being said, Berry Finding S on our Umbreon here and on our um, Espeon. Although I know Maggleberry right now, there isn't a need for it unless you're lucky enough to get it as a random favorite berry. But I do know that there are going to be new maps. Um, I think there was data mining going on and one of the maps is like a lake or something like that. And I feel like that definitely gives psychic vibes, right? So I'll probably end up using it there, but that's like way, way, way in the future. And then I got Lyria who has cacao at 30 skill level up here we got sleep bonus exp dream shard skill trigger and helping speed and it is a gentle nature so is it the best of the best no but will it get the job done yes 
it'll get the job done and it'll give us additional perks and i am happy with that and it's gonna be a shiny and then we got my other ev here it's calm nature these are the skills So actually, I could probably make this my new Vaporeon or just keep my Vaporeon as a Vaporeon and not stress too much about all these EVs. Actually, this too with the with the cacaos. Oh, this is the one I got today actually. And this is what my current Aqua looks like. So Yeah. So that is an overview of my little haul. I know I went in more detail with Eo, Orion, and Lyria. Fun fact, if any of you guys ever played the MOBA game Grand Blue Fantasy, I was hooked, hooked on that in a period of my life, you guys. I loved that game. The artwork, beautiful. The story, beautiful. The gameplay, so much fun and you can play with friends. You collect JPEGs together in the summertime. There's like bikini JPEGs. I mean, what more can you ask for, right? And there was this little thing called a spark where if you gather a hundred gems so that you could pull a character, then you're guaranteed at least like really one really, really good one. So I would save up all my crystals and then I would do a spark and it would be a huge deal in the GBF community. People would watch you for sparks. You watch your friends do sparks. And it was a lot of fun. And then you see all the pretty characters you collected. So I actually named it Eo and Orion because you cannot have light without dark. So the Eo is the light, Orion is the dark. And then Lyria, which is the blue hair girl in um, Grand Blue Fantasy, who does healing and stuff. So yeah, a little nod to one of my favorite mobile games in the past and i have since stopped playing so that's a little backstory and let me show you guys my shiny collection so this is my shiny collection so far the very first one i got was the slack Auth. and then my last day in japan i got the shiny pikachu and then we got Eevee, and then we got Riolu, and then Lyria. So that is my little collection so far. Very, very happy with what I found. Very happy with Eevee Week as well. I hope you guys enjoyed Eevee Week and found a lot of good things as, as well. I'm saying as well a lot, but... Yeah, another thing I want to show you guys, because it's right in front of me, and now that I can have solid foods, I'm super excited to eat this. So... Uh, where I live, there are people that monitor the parking garage area, right? And every time I leave the parking garage or enter it, I like to slow down. One for safety, the other is because I like to say hi to the people. They're really nice. So when I first moved in, I made a ton of cookies. And I gave them out to certain people that work in the area because I just find it's a nice gesture. Also, so that they get acquainted to you. You know who's taking care of you and your safety while you're here. So parking guy. Uh, a couple days ago, he stopped me while I was going in the garage and he was like, he said my name and like, blah, 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 right? And I'm like, yes, that's me. And he's like, oh, I just wanted to make sure because there's like two other people that drive the same car as you. And when you guys enter, there's a glare, so I can't really tell if it's you or not. And I was like, oh, okay. And I th at first I thought I was in trouble or something. But he was like, wait here, I have something to give you. So I'm waiting and then he comes to me and he's like, I know I didn't make it with my hands, like referring to the cookies I gave him. And he was like, but I'm, I'm from Greece and this is popular there and I wanted to share this with you. And he gave me this, this chocolate wafer. I already ate one because he gave me two and it is delicious. It is delicious. And I was just so touched by the gesture. I was like, you are such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. You shouldn't have. So... Yeah, that was like one thing last week that I thought was just so sweet, you know? And he told me that he knew it was me because every time I drive by, I always slow down. And then he kind of like tried to correct himself because he, he was like, oh, I don't mean that you're like slow or anything, but it's just like something you do because other people, they just like zip by. 
And I don't know if he realizes it, but the reason why I always slow down is because I like to say hi to them. So we always wave like this to each other. And I just thought it was really nice that he thought of me. He probably sees so much people come and go every day, but the fact that he went out of his way to share this with me was so sweet. And I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. I can't wait to share this with my boyfriend. And he's like, oh, actually, wait here. So he comes back with the second one. So yeah, that really made me smile. And I was able to enjoy a bar right before my wisdom tooth surgery. And now I have a second one to enjoy now that I'm healed and I'm going to share with my boyfriend. And that is really good. It's not too sweet and it will go great with coffee. Now, in terms of recovery from my wisdom teeth, everything's going really well. I um, I decided I won't take pain medication today because it is a lot more manageable, although I should be taking my antibiotics and this other medicine that he gave me that I need to take daily. But things are going well. My gums just feel like irritated and like kind of itchy because the stitches are trying to re remove themselves from the area. So... Yeah, it is a weird sensation in my mouth. I got one over here and over here. So that does affect my talking sometimes. So do bear with me in that. But right after my uh, removal on Saturday, my boyfriend had um, a day packed with plans already. And I was like, you know what? Don't worry. I'm going to be fine. Just go ahead. Have fun. So he was so sweet. While I was sleeping, he wrote down like... Um, all the, the name of my medicine he lined it up according to the name he wrote down what time I took them and I woke up and I was like this is just the sweetest thing ever so sweet and caring you guys it really melted my heart and I really appreciate him so I thought that was really cute and yeah recovering very well I was able to film yesterday for you guys and that is pretty much a little tidbit of updates that I thought would be fun for you guys to listen to so let me know how your EV week went if you guys enjoyed it as much as I do I hope you're all looking forward to the next event coming up soon which I don't know what it will be but I'm so stoked for Christmas you guys so stoked so if you found anything really good if you found what you want let me know I am so curious if you have not seen the video yesterday where I talk about the three shinies that I found definitely check that out if you want a short version, I created a shorts for that too. So your girl's trying to diversify her YouTube content, not content, format. So there's the shorts if you're curious. And thank you guys so much for your support. So much excitement that you guys had around all this and sharing that excitement with me. It makes it so much more fun. And I love interacting with you guys in the comment section about all the cool stuff that we see here. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care, have fun, and eat something yummy. <laughs> Bye.